In this video, I'm going to play a prank on my wife, Edita. Over the years, we've bought many used washing machines, mostly to save money. But inevitably, after working for a while, these machines, every one of them, has eventually broken down. Now, me being stubborn and a DIYer by nature, I've always insisted on fixing the machines myself, rather than buying a new set like Edita has always asked me to. And that's worked for a while. I've had some success ordering new parts for these machines, fixing them, doing the work myself, doing online research. But as you might expect, they've always broken down again shortly after I've fixed them. Sometimes we've had months go by where I've had washing machine parts spread all over our laundry room floor, pulling apart these used machines, trying desperately to fix them with varying success. Edith has been a real trooper about it. She's uh, happily accepted the fact that she's had to drive over to my parents' place for weeks and weeks at a time with our laundry to borrow their machines while I try to fix our old broken ones. So finally, after our latest used machine broke down several weeks ago, I decided to finally bite the bullet and buy a new washer and dryer. We ordered the best reviewed set on the market and I just got a call a few minutes ago from our local hardware store in our small town of Gorbay that the machines have arrived. They're ready for me to pick up, so I'm about to hop in the truck and do that. But what Edita doesn't know is that when I get the new machines home and bring them into the house and hook them up, and we get that first load of laundry washing in the new washing machine, I'm gonna convince her that the new machine doesn't work. Here we are at the hardware store. We got the new machines loaded in here and uh, let the fun begin. can't see a thing out of my rear view mirror here, but luckily it's a small country road. Gonna be home soon and hook these up and then go forward with the plan. This one's the dryer. Never have a single problem for another 20 years. That's what I'm expecting, yeah. So finally after all this time, yeah. I'm going to unpack and hook up the new machines and then all our problems with laundry will be solved, right? Let's hope so. I Let's mean, hope so. I don't want a bummer when you unpack and hook up everything and something doesn't work. Then I would really believe that there is some sort of power in there that does not want us to have a working washing machine. Look, mm. Dad, I help you open a flap my top, but very small single. Looks pretty fancy. Machines are all installed, hooked up, and we've got full laundry hampers. We're ready to use them. Let's see how they work. Well, we're going to do our first load with new machines, so exciting! Finally, moment. it's been forever. Yeah. Here it goes the first load of laundry in the new washer. We have pretty high expectations of this machine. There it goes. First time turning it on. Oh, Ooh, fancy. Good job. It's turning on for the first time. Oh, that seems like a volcano wumbling. Something's happening in there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Is that a normal sound? <laughs> I have no idea. I've never used this machine. Is it maybe like checking the weight or something? See, it was like it starts sometimes this way, but then it goes this way. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if that's normal. What? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> We've had so many traumatic experiences so with washers. That's so fast. It works pretty loud, eh? Stop the machine. 
it started shaking itself to smithereens and actually moving across the floor. So once again, something appears to be wrong. How do you, how do you feel right now? It's like, you know, the feeling of expecting the worst and the worst happens. <laughs> That's how was the feeling. <laughs> yeah, the worst happened. The machine got really loud, like louder Extremely than a Harley loud. Davidson at full throttle. It scared everybody. Started shaking itself to smithereens and skating violently backward across the floor. So I, we shut I it ran down. quickly and I shut it off because I was so scared. Now that this has happened, I can confess something to you. I had a plan to actually pull a prank on you in this video, and I'm not going to do it now. That's, it's not a prank, because I mm. saw it happening. No, this so. isn't No, this isn't a prank. This is real. The machine really isn't working. But I was thinking that the machine would work fine, but I was actually going to like shut it off and unplug it or something in the middle of the cycle, and then tell you it had just shut itself down, and see, film your reaction. So I'm letting the cat out of the bag, because it really did malfunction, so... <laughs> Now we're in it together, but I, I was going to prank you. Now I won't. You have no supper tonight because of it. <laughs> but I didn't. Just read the owner's manual. Probably should have done that earlier. Turns out these four shipping bolts, four bolts like this, are bolted to the back for shipping to protect the machine. And you're supposed to remove them before starting it. I didn't do that. I've started to do it now. I've removed two. I've got two more to remove. I don't think that accounts for what happened, but I'm going to remove them anyway and see what else I can learn from the owner's manual. There's three. Now the fun part, the fourth one way down there. Dropped my wrench. Uh. Lots of fun. Just got off the phone with the LG technician. See what's going on with the washer. She thought maybe trying a spin-only cycle with the countertop off might help. And also installing these abrasive pads underneath the feet facing upwards to prevent sliding. So we'll see. What a suspenseful moment. Well, test one successful. Well, something is definitely malfunctioning now since it won't turn back on. Yeah, right. Your husband's malfunctioning. <laughs> yes. Take him away, Steve, before I hurt him. Put him on, put him on Facebook and advertise. Yes, for one. sale. <laughs> good price. Free to good home. Oh, yeah. Well, that second test with the washer was successful, so now we're trying an actual load from start to finish, and hopefully the machine doesn't go crazy. Yes! Victory! <laughs> I discovered that, quite obviously really when I think about it, these shipping bolts actually held the drum in place. They prevented the suspension from working so that it wouldn't rattle around during shipping, I imagine. So by not removing these before my first attempt with the machine, I basically took away its ability to stabilize the drum during the spin, so that's why it went crazy. Thankfully, there doesn't seem to be any damage, and this just goes to show that no matter how experienced you think you are, always read the instructions. Well, that didn't exactly go as expected, but I hope you still found this video about our washing machine adventures interesting. If you did, give the video a like, share it, and subscribe to our channel for lots more great Cabin in the Woods content.